In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set the Android animation speed features to values that are not available to the user through the developer options menu here. This process does require us to use ADB in order to set this up, but it allows us to set them to a more specific value that you are comfortable with. For those who are not familiar with these three options, you can find them by first enabling the developer mode feature on your Android smartphone or tablet. If you do not know how to do this, then be sure to check the video description below as I'll include a link to a dedicated guide that I have done that shows you all of the steps involved. Once enabled, we can then go into the newly created developer options menu on our device. And then after scrolling down a bit, you're going to find three different options that pertain to the animation speed on Android. We have the window animation scale option, the transition animation scale option, and then the animator duration scale option. These three features control how fast or slow the animations are played out on our smartphone or tablet. And the default values for these are going to be set to 1x. But if we wanted them to be faster, then we could set these to 0.5x. Or if we wanted the animations to be slower, we could set them to 1.5x or 2x. And you'll notice that the animations are now slower. These are useful and can be a great way to customize your Android smartphone or tablet, but they don't give you granular controls of this setting. For example, what if we wanted the animations to be faster, but felt that the 0.5x option was too fast for our liking. Thankfully, with ADB, we can configure these three options to be whatever numerical value that we want. For this to work, we must first have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on our PC, and then we must also have USB debugging mode enabled as well. If you're not familiar with how to set either of these things up, then again, please check the video description below to find links to videos that I have already done to see how that can be set up. Once you are ready, let's go ahead and connect our device to the PC with a USB cable. Our next step is to make sure that ADB can connect to our Android device. So let's execute the command ADB space devices and press enter. If you see your serial number here, along with the word device, then that means you have set everything up properly and you are good to go. However, if you see that this is blank with no devices listed, then that means you either need to grant USB debugging mode access from your smartphone or tablet. It could also mean that you need to install the proper USB drivers from your device maker, or that you need to use a different USB port, or possibly a different USB cable entirely. But once you see your serial number here, then we can proceed with this tutorial. So the next thing that we need to do is drop into an ADB shell. And we can do that by typing out the words ADB space shell and pressing enter. This should drop you down into another prompt with a blinking cursor but it looks a little bit different. And instead we're being shown the code name of the device we have actually connected to our PC with the USB cable. 
and then we can begin to configure the three Android animation settings directly from this command prompt. The first command that we'll be entering is settings space put space global space window underscore animation underscore scale. So now we're going to do a space after that. And this is going to be the numerical value that we set to this option. So we saw in the menu that we could set it to 1x, which would be a value of 1. And we could set it to 0.5x, which would be a value of 0 0.5. But if we wanted this to be even faster, we could set this to 0 0.25 and then press enter. And as long as you don't get an error here, as long as it goes back to that same prompt you saw before, then that means you entered everything correctly. So the second command that we'll be entering is settings space put space global space transition underscore animation underscore scale space and then the numerical value you want this set to. So again if we're setting these animations to be faster than what we can set them to in the menu again we can go with the 0 0.25 press enter and then test out that animation. Finally, the last command that we need to enter to change these three settings is going to be settings, space put, space global, space animator, underscore duration, underscore scale. Again, we're going to do a space after that. And we can set this again to 0 0.25 to go with the theme of making these animations a lot faster than normal. Now if we believe that the 1x animation is too slow and we want our animations to be faster, but we think the 0.5x setting in the developer options menu is too fast, then we could also set these to 0 0.75. Or if we wanted the animations to be slower, but think the 1.5x setting is too slow, then we could set these to 1.25 and press enter. Again, if we think the 1.5x setting is not slow enough and the 2x setting is too slow, then we could set these to 1.75. I recommend that you experiment with all three of these commands and change this value to whatever setting you want. And just know that you can always either come back into ADB to change them directly or you can set them to the default 1x value within the developer options menu very easily. I also wanted to highlight three commands that we can use to check the value of these settings, just in case you forgot what they were set to when you change them via ADB. And again, these need to be executed within an ADB shell. So we just need to type out settings space git space global space window underscore animation underscore scale and press enter. And just like you see here, we have now changed this to 0 0.25. So that is why this value is returned here. The other command is settings space git 
space global space transition underscore animation underscore scale and press enter. Again, we set that to 0 0.25 and that is why that value returns that. The last command to check these values is settings space git space global space animator underscore duration underscore scale. Those three commands can be very useful to check what the value of these options are set to if you have changed them to a custom value via ADB because as you just saw these were set to 0 0.25 but the developer options is not able to display that value since the 0.5x is the lowest that it can go to. So just know that you can always go back into an ADB shell to relearn what these options have been set to via ADB. As we can see, even if Android's user facing options do not give us the exact setting that we're looking for, many times we can dive into some ADB commands to configure things the exact way that we want them to be. Personally, I like it when the animations are sped up a little bit, but 0.5x is usually too fast for my liking. So changing these three settings to 0.75 has been a great middle ground for me. It gives me the feeling of Android being more responsive without changing things to the point where the animations become janky.